Dr. Bloomer, you have a study coming up at the University of Memphis based on the biblical account of Daniel, and this is in regard to a healthy diet. Could you elaborate on that, please? Sure. Yeah, it's a study we're really motivated uh, by at this point. I think it'll be really interesting. We'll plan to start this now in just the next few weeks, but it's essentially based on the Daniel fast, uh, which is uh, based on the book of Daniel, in which Daniel was imprisoned. I remember that And he that essentially uh, neglected the king's you know, good food and the king's rich food. Exactly. And he pleaded with the guard, you know, please just give me vegetables and water for 10 days. Me and my friends, vegetables and water for 10 days. And the guard said, well, I can't give you just vegetables and water. I'm giving the king's men you know, all this rich food, this fatty food, the wine, etc." And he said, no, I'm not going to defile myself by consuming food that's of the king's nature outside of what the Lord's will is. So the guard agreed, and he provided Daniel with the vegetables for that period of time. And he came back after 10 days and looked at Daniel and his friend and said, I don't understand it. I've been giving you just vegetables for 10 days. You look great. I've been giving these people all the king's good food. They look terrible. From this day forward, I will only give them vegetables. When the guards are really <laughs> excited about that. <laughs> so I really thought that was interesting. And Very. We've, uh, my wife and I and others have done the Daniel fast before and, um, you know, for, for biblical and Christian, you know, purposes. And the fast itself is is not meant for you know weight loss per se mm -hmm. the fast itself is meant for a period of time where you pray and become closer to the lord but you know in doing the fast uh, myself and others have realized just such significant health benefits and my diet over overall is is quite good a, as it was you know eating five six seven meals a day good quality foods etc but you know using this daniel fast i even without trying and i really wasn't Mm -hmm. interested in losing weight, but ended up losing about four to five pounds. But I believe body fat, I was, you know, very lean and, uh, you know, overall felt great. The diet is a 21 day diet. You know, that's typically what is practiced if people looked into this on online. Mm -hmm. And the diet essentially is a vegan diet. It's a vegetable or it's a plant based diet, fruits, vegetables, you know, whole grains, uh, no additives, no preservatives, no sweeteners, no meat products. Um, so your protein is really coming from a mixture of uh, grains and vegetables, and it may come from a soy-based protein powder, which we actually purchased and used mm -hmm. in, you know, different sort of blender drinks and things like that. But um, the dietary, you know, intake itself is, of course, as we both know, far different than what a, a typical person may consume. But the health benefits that we've seen and mm -hmm. we've heard from so many individuals range from improvements in overall feeling of uh, motivation to do things, uh, ener energy, um, my skin looks better, I feel great, I'm motivated, I'm excited, I lose weight, I've lost body fat, I've never felt so good, etc. So I was mm. thinking about it and said this would be a great study to it do yes. in terms of a laboratory-based study to look at the biochemical changes as well as the anthropometric changes, the body composition and the measurements and things like that. Well, isn't that typically a very alkalizing diet? I mean, it's not acidic at all. No, it, it's not. And, you know, there's, there's such a wealth of literature related to caloric restriction. Most mm -hmm. of these data come from animals, but there's a number of studies now in humans as well that look at caloric restriction um, and right. modification of the mm -hmm. type of food that we're consuming in terms of overall health status. A lot of this has to do with the production, again, of free radicals, as we talked about earlier, and the decrease or attenuation in oxidative stress. So my thinking is that from a mechanistic point of view, we may see favorable changes because we're taking in only the best of the best in terms of quality of nutrients, and we're not taking in an abundance of nutrients so the body does not have to process all these nutrients. Okay. Because in processing more and more nutrients, we produce more and more free radicals as a result. Hmm. So we're planning to enroll a group of 30 individuals and simply in a pilot study, not randomize them, but everyone will be assessed at baseline and be assessed again after 21 days of following the fast. Mm -hmm. We'll monitor dietary intake before they start the fast, and then during the third week, so we can see differences in intake. 
and then we'll measure a whole host of biochemical parameters ranging from insulin to C-reactive protein to a lot of different antioxidant and oxidative stress variables, uh, blood glucose, lipid profiles, etc. And then we'll also do some anthropometrics such as DEXA, body composition, measurements, mm -hmm. and then some subjective assessments of just overall well-being. Mm -hmm. So we're really interested in this uh, line of work at this time. To our knowledge, no one's looked at this before. No. And I think it has a lot of implications for a lot of people, whether they're Christian or not, um, to uh, more or less adhere to a pro an approach that is doable and reasonable. Mm -hmm. um, certainly, I'll admit that at, at first, for someone that's not used to consuming good quality food, it'll be challenging for them. Uh, but once you learn what to do and how to do it, it's like anything else, it, it's not really much of a problem. Um, I think the results and the overall outcomes and the benefits of doing this sort of uh, eating plan are going to outweigh the, the uh, how should we say, uh, not necessarily a risk, but they're certainly they're going to outweigh right. the um, work or and the effort and the sacrifice that's go. involved with mm -hmm. this sort of diet plan. So we're really interested in, in what our outcome will be.